Hey everybody, today Rado runs through Donut Shop, but before we begin, please turn on your subtitles to the Klingon channel so that when I have an oops moment, you'll know about it. Hey everybody, Kimberly here, and you better believe I've got a fresh game for you today. It's called Donut Shop, and yes, I am wearing a Donut Shop hat because all the players are going to take on the role of a Donut Shop apprentice trying to fill orders and box up donuts for customers. So in this game, it's going to be a tile placement game. So if you take a look at the board out here, I've got some open space here. And I even have my change in this big bowl, which does not come with the game, uh, so that I can move it around in case we need to really expand this tile growth area, because this is the donut display case. Now, what does come with the game is this cool hat. And yes, players should wear their hats while they play. Absolutely, 100%. So. Let me just show you the lay of the land. Over here, I've got this uh, donut tile um, case. And this is where you get all your cool donut tiles. And there are two on display for selection, but then whole stacks back here. Over here is my napkin dispenser. And this is where you get all those donut orders. There are always two on display as well in front. I've got my two players set up here. I'm over here on the right. I've got Lewis over here on the left. We each start with a box of four donuts that we can box up. That's just ours. Nobody else has access to this. We start with a card uh, from the napkin dispenser, which is an order. We start with one of those donut tiles. And then over here, I've just got all the different size boxes because you are going to box up the donuts on display out here. And every time you do, you're going to earn money, which, yes, is going to be your victory points in this game. So let's just jump right into it. I am the start player because I make the donuts in the house and I love making donuts and I'll tell you one little secret. If you want to make delicious powdered donuts, the tip is nutmeg, that's it. You just have to add a little bit of nutmeg and they will taste just like the store-bought ones and you will never look back and you'll love making your own donuts like I do. So I'm gonna start the game, I love donuts. <laughs> And what I do is I take uh, 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 my turn, and there are four different steps that a player takes in their turn. The very first one is they add their donut tile, which they have one of, to the display area. So this is a donut tile anatomy. It's a grid, you've got a, a two by two, and there are gonna be different donuts depicted. There are five different types of donuts. Here I've got glazed, and then I've got a cruller that has sprinkles on it. And sprinkles, yes, are special. It is a special kind of donut that can score bonus if you have the matching order card for it. So what I'm gonna do is take my tile and I'm going to add it to the display, scoring up points for one particular type of donut. Now, as you can tell here, having three of a kind is really good. It's built into my tile and I just wanna slide it in right there and I wanna score up my glazed donuts. Now, I can still pick the glazed donuts. I could pick this cruller on the side. I just can't do a halvesy. You're never allowed to put a tile that essentially cuts halfway through. It has to be a full, here that's legal. This is definitely legal. Um, this is legal over here. I just can't do this kind of like a half placement. I'm not allowed to go on top of things as well. And no uh, catty corners, right? No no diagonals, That that that's not a thing either. So a lot of really traditional tile placement rules with the exception that in this game, you can't do um, a half, okay? So I'm gonna have to keep an eye on that because that is one of my favorite things to do. <laughs> it's just like, because <laughs> it looks so delicious. Um, so what I'm going to do here is I'm going to score this. Now what you get to do is count the donuts of one type on your tile and then anything that's orthogonal to it from different tiles. And it essentially can be like a chain. It's all connected donuts. So I go one, two, three, four, five. Each donut earns me five cents. So I'm going to grab this 25 cent coin. I'm going to put it right here in my area. And that is me scoring up my donuts. Now, the next thing that I can do on my turn is box up some donuts. But in this very first turn, the way the game works, the way it's configured, it's gonna be really hard, nigh impossible to box up donuts because we only have one card. Now, if I wanted to box up uh, four donuts, I could put this anywhere on the board, but everything I cover up, I have to discard 
the matching kind of donut type from an order card. And right now my order card is a glazed donut, which is very helpful because I have glazed donuts, but I don't have anything else. If I went here, I'd have to get the cruller and a glazed donut card. Here would be the glazed donut with the blue iced one. Here would be the chocolate filled one. And I don't have those, I just have the one. Now there is a symbol down here with it, which is coffee, and I'll get to that when I actually activate some coffee. But everyone loves coffee with their donuts. Um, I do, so I'll tell you about it later. So I'm going to pass on my optional boxing donuts phase. And then I move to step four, which is draw new tile and draw a new card. So the rule here is that you're only allowed to take one face up and then you take the other kind face down. So I could take either one of these display uh, from the napkin dispenser. These are orders for a cruller donut and for coffee. I'm really tempted to take this. The other one is that banana cream and I could take either one of those or I could take one of these face up donut tiles. But let me tell you, I wanna take this cruller because I've got a cruller and I've got these glazed donuts and I also have some coffee and you want coffee in twos or in threes, not by themselves. By themselves, they're kind of worthless. So if I take this card, I must take a face down tile. I'm not allowed to take any of these and getting two of those crullers and two more of those Ice donuts look so tempting, but I'm not, I can't score it if I don't have the right order cards. And so I'm really gonna take this and hope that I can maybe have that in the future. So I take one of these. Oh wow, it has nothing for what I'm going for, but it doesn't matter because I'll be able to play this tile down and I'll be able to earn some points for matching donut types. So I put this guy there. That's it, but I do need to replace the display. So I'm gonna replace this. Oh, looks like a basic glazed donut and a basic banana cream. And I'm gonna kick it over to Lewis. It goes to the next player in turn order, and that's it. He's gonna take a look at his. He's got, oh wow, he's got a fancy sprinkle blue iced donut. I don't see any sprinkles out there right now, but that's, um, that's okay. And he also has this beautiful um, two blue donuts. And what he probably is gonna do is similar to um, what I'm doing, which is just scoring up points. Let's see if he can make it happen. If he goes here, he's gonna be able to receive one, two on his tile for the matching types. And then he does the adjacent orthogonal place donuts of the same matching type. So that's gonna be five, 10, 15, 20. He's gonna grab two of these guys Boom, he's got 20. Now he also can't box. And he could use the four over here. There's a six, eight, nine, and 12. Each of them gives, um, of course, more and more cents, more and more money for the bigger boxes. But he's just gonna say, nope, I don't want that. So what he can do instead is now, maybe just, oh, nope. I think he wants to take this. I think he wants this because it just is more and more blue. And it has two of those chocolate covered and one of them special. The nuts are gonna be the sprinkles for the chocolate one. So he takes this guy, which means he takes a face down card. What is it? What is it gonna be? Holy crap, look at that, look at that. Ah, ah, so exciting. So if he can cover it up and play this card as the order, he's gonna receive 10 extra cents. Fantastic, I love it. He's gonna replace this. Oh, more chocolate, more chocolate. I love it, okay. Back to me. I'm gonna have to do this face up because I wanna make sure I see it. Now, coffees are good. I've got this guy and I also have, what is this? I've got a cruller and a one of those guys. I don't know if I can do what I want right now, but I can do just more and more delicious blue donuts. I wanna get on that blue donut chain. So I'm gonna slide it here and I'm going to score. One, two, three, four, five, six times five is a 30. So I'm going to do that. There's my 30. I'm loving just playing donuts and getting just cash, right? <laughs> now, can I box? Technically I can box. I want this one 
And I'm going to I'm going to wait. I'm going to wait because I think I'm going to be able to bank on it, and I don't think Lewis is going to have all the right kinds of donuts. Now, if I play these two cards, um, having two coffees gives me 15 cents, which I have. And if I do a cruller and a glazed donut, I could take this from the display and just cover this tile up right there. I could just go whoop, and I could get this. But if I get this tile and place it here. I'm going to score on glazed, and I want to get more points. So I'm going to hedge my bets. I'm going to hope that he doesn't mess anything up, and I can score big, big, big time next time. So that was my turn. I need to draw. I absolutely need this tile face up, so I take it, which means I take one of the face down cards. Oh, nice. This is one of those beautiful blue donuts and a sprinkle bonus, which there are no blue sprinkles out there right now but there will be in the future. And it's always good to just have some donut cards on hand. Boy, it's rough when you don't have any cards and you have to kind of start over from scratch after you box a donut. So I'll show you that in just a little bit. Here's this, I replace it, and you're gonna see this guy, look at this. This is a really cool tile. That is a donut hole space. And you see each of the five different donuts depicted because this is a wild. So it will count as whatever donut you want at any stage you want in the game, which is great. So good. Okay, now it's back to Lewis. What is he gonna do, right? Because I didn't box and I also took my card and replaced it. He wants to do some delicious things. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh. Oh, this is gonna be so good. He's gonna be the happiest person in the whole world. Okay, here we go. Oh, it's almost a box of 12. Oh my gosh, I, okay, okay, okay. So he's gonna pick either blue, which is better, or chocolate, which is still pretty good, but not as good. So he places his tile, picks one particular donut type, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, times five is 40, 25, 35, 40. Big, big, big payout for him. And that was just simply placing the donut. I mean, wow. Now he's going to box. Do you see his boxing opportunity? If, if, oh my gosh, if he had had this card right here, this glazed donut, he could put this entire thing right over that. Do you see it? It's all blue and chocolate except for that one corner. So instead of doing a dozen, he gets to do nine. So he's gonna do this pack and he's gonna pop it right here and he's gonna pop it right there on top, and he's gonna do nine all blue and one specialty chocolate. Take a look at that card. He's got chocolate with a specialty. He's got blue, no specialty bonus. So he's gonna get a 10 cent bonus by playing these cards to the uh, discard pile, and he gets 45 cents plus 10, 55 cents. Holy crap. <laughs> I keep saying that. It's so exciting. Like, oh my gosh. He's got so much money. He's doing so well as an apprentice. Yeah. Okay, that's it. It covers up those spaces. He boxed up those uh, donuts for the customers, and they are so, so happy. So now he kind of has to rebuild a little bit. He needs to pick some things, and I think he's just okay taking uh, this wild uh, uh, donut hole so that he can take one of these guys up here. He doesn't know what he's gonna get, but he thinks any of it's good. Looks like a really good chocolate with some coffee. Good, good opportunities. I think he's happy with that. Let's replace this. A lot of crewlers. Ooh, ooh, ooh. I think I might wanna grab that. But it's to me, and you know what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna place this guy right here, and I want it to go this way. Now I want it to go that way so that I can count all of my glazed donuts because that one has more, just like his blues had more. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, 35. Boy, not as good as him, but still pretty good. There's my 35. And then I play a box of eight. Here's my eight pack. I mean, these guys are so cute. Look at this stuff. It just is full of flair, right? I'm gonna place this right over the top of those because I have these two cards. Oh wait, no, I can't do it, Never mind. Ah, I was so excited. These two cards say that I get to place over crewlers and I can place over glazed donuts and when I have two coffee cards, it's a total of 15 cents. If I'd had a third, it'd be worth 25 cents 
all together. So I'm going to put these cards in the uh, um, discard pile after I place this right over the top. Now I don't have any sprinkle bonus, but that's okay. <laughs> Can't get everything right. So I place that right over the top of that for 15 cents plus 40 is 55 cents. 55 cents. There we go. And I'm going to discard these puppies. They go in. We are boxing up these donuts so fast, trying to get the ones that we want before the, uh, before the other player really takes up those spaces. So I'm going to, I have a blue card and there's no crewlers out here, but boy, is there an opportunity for crewlers right here. I want to take this guy right here. I want it. I want it. And I think I'm going to take, I got to take a face down card. What is it? Chocolate? That's not bad. I got a chocolate donut here. I've got a blue donut here. This is good. This is good. I'm going to put this guy down here like this. And I'm going to pass it back to Lewis. So he's got his donut holes. We're going to see how this guy works. And I think what he might do with this guy is, where's a good opportunity? He's got some... You know what? Maybe he'll take up that crazy crueler corner. Ha! Crazy crueler corner. Um, no, I think I want to do this. I think I want to do this. Yeah, I think I want him to go over here. And I want him to count chocolates. He's going to get 5, 10, 15 for chocolates because this is a wild. So he's going to take his 15. And can he box anything? He's got chocolate here. He can't box yet, but he needs to take this card now, and maybe he'll be able to box later. So I'm going to have him take this, despite how in really intriguing this one looks. Um, maybe it'll stick around for next time. Who knows? And he takes this one face down. Oh, all the blue. All the blue. Oh, he's done with blue. Never mind. I thought he had a blue tile. Maybe it's me. Okay, so he's got his tiles, he's got his cards. We're gonna replace this one right here. Sprinkles on banana cream. Back to this lady. I'm the one, yep, I'm the one that has the blue. Okay, and I've got the crewlers. So I've got chocolates and I've got crewlers. I think I just wanna go over here. I saw that opportunity and I think it looks really good. Um, I'm gonna put that up in the corner just like that and go five is 25. There's my 25. I'm going to grab that, put it in my pile. Just putting all these beautiful donuts out. Can I box anything? I could box right here. Nope, I don't have crewlers. Boy, I keep thinking I have a cruller. So maybe what I should do is take a card up here so that I can maybe get a cruller card. Yeah, I think I'm going to do that, but I can't look at it. I can't look at it. I take the card and I take one of these face up. Now, Am I going to mess with Lewis? Probably going to mess with Lewis. But wait, there's more. <laughs> this fits all three of my types. So just logically, if I don't know what he's doing, I'm definitely taking this tile. Okay, so I took my face down card. Here's my face um, up donut tile. And I'm going to put that in my area. Replace this right here. And then play. Whoa, so many bananas. So many bananas. Okay, back to him. He's got this guy. What is he gonna do? I think he wants to make um, a stack of, wow, there's so many blues there, but he also wants the chocolates. You know what? I think he's actually gonna do this. You ready for this? Remember when I said donut holes can be whatever you want at every stage of the game? This is a perfect example of showing you I count these three blue, and now that's blue, even though before it was chocolate. And now I count the blue on the other side because it's orthogonally connected, right? We have that uh, adjacent kind of run of donuts. So I've got one, two, three, four, five. That's 25. There we go. Yes. And he is going to choose to cover donuts. He's going to box up a really small amount of donuts. He is going to pick these two guys. You see? Yeah, I think he is. He's going to take one from the supply, not his own, because I think it's strategically advantageous, advantageous to players to use anything from the supply before they use anything from their own personal supply. 
And I want him to box up this right here, two chocolates and two banana creams. And he turns these two cards back in, no sprinkle bonus and no coffee bonus. But he's gonna turn those in because he really wants to throw a wrench in my plans if I'm going after anything around there. He does get his 20 cents though. Here's his 20 cents, boom. He's gonna put that in his pile. And I think he really wants to see if he can find anything to do with uh, this stuff. I mean, wow. Let's see here. Oh, there's so much banana creams. Maybe he takes this just because there's nothing but banana creams out there. And if he takes this, he knows he takes one of these and one of those will be left over. So I'm gonna have him take this. Banana creams, it was a really good pick. It was a super good pick for him. I really like that. Um, I'm gonna replace this card and it's gonna come back to me because I think I'm gonna be able to actually do something this turn. I feel like I'm gonna be able to score. Here's mine, I got chocolates. He did mess up the chocolates and the blues. I was gonna go over there and do something, so he really did get in my way. Now I do have a cruller bonus here if I cover up a cruller. There are no uh, sprinkles for this blue glazed donut, but what could I do? Um, could I do, I've got cruller, and I've got those guys, and I don't have banana creams. This is just a banana cream mix. I, want, I need some banana creams over there. Rats. Well, hmm, I could go here and score up blues just to get some points and maybe hang on to my cards. We can see about that. I'm gonna put my cards down for now, but I do, this is, this is legal. I'm gonna put this placement over here and say blue, one on my tile, one, two, three, four, five, six. I've got six, so there's my 30. I got 25 and uh, five, here we go. And I'm gonna put that in my pile. And then I want, let's see here. Do I wanna score? I could possibly score a four by doing this guy right here, kind of like he did. But boy, would it be nice to get some more bonuses. Oh, maybe I should do this. Aha, I'm gonna pay these two chocolate and blue, and I'm gonna make a six. It goes right here. I've got blue, 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 and chocolates, and I put it on right there, and I get 30 cents, uh, no bonus. So I put these cards back, and I just get 30 cents. All right, there's my 30 cents, and I am good to go. Okay, taking cards, what do I have? Cruller, <sighs> you know what? I think I wanna take the glazed donut face up and one face down. A wild, okay, not bad, not bad. And I'll replace this and pass it over to Lewis. He's got just a uh, chocolate, you know, filled donut and then a blue one. He's gonna place this guy down and hopefully be able to score some of that stuff. I don't know if he can, but boy would it be nice to do something nice. I'm gonna put it over here. He's gonna put that and he's gonna say one, two, three, four, 20, loving it. He's got that. Can he do anything? He can't do anything. So let's have him grab even more. I want him to grab, I've got chocolates, sprinkles or sprinkles. Let's have him take this guy. And we'll do face down. Oh, we got a glazed donut. This is really good. This is good, good, good. All right, he's gonna replace this from here. Now, play is going to continue all the way around in turn order, every player playing one of their tiles, scoring up their donuts, optionally boxing donuts, and then taking from the reserve until there is no card to draw from here or no tiles to draw from here in which every player is going to then uh, play one more turn and you're going to score up all of your points at the end of the game. This game is all about pressing it just a little bit further um, than you think, hoping that you can get the biggest bang for your buck and box up all those donuts. And gosh, thank you so much for joining me in this run through of Donut Shop. I hope you are thoroughly hungry by now because these donuts are so stinking appetizing. All right, everybody, I'll see you later. Bye-bye.
So that's it for Donut Shop, everybody. If you'd like to hear my final thoughts about it, you can hit that I in the top right corner or click the link in the show notes below in 5, 4, 3, 2, 1.